Hello! Welcome to the Lilliputian Librarian. Today, I will be reading Clarice, the Chicest Mouse in Paris fashion show fiasco by Megan Hess. Springtime was blooming in beautiful Paris, and life was très belle for sweet little Clarice. She'd just moved in to her own tiny flat with two lovely parents and their daughter, the brat. Designing new dresses was Clarice's passion, with help from Monsieur, who knew all about fashion. One morning, the friends nibbled fruit from a tray, and they heard Madame say, Well, today is the day! It's better than birthdays. It's certainly Christmas. There's no way, ma chérie, that we'd ever miss this. Clarice waited for Madame to further explain, but the brat interrupted. She was such a pain. She whinged and she whined and she kicked up a stink. I'm not leaving this house till I've had my drink. As the butler raced in with some tea and a frown, the table was bumped and some paper fell down. It landed near Clarus, who let out a squeak, an invite to Chanel at Mon Dieu Fashion Week. No wonder Madame was excited to go. This mouse only dreamed of attending that show. As Madame placated her terrible daughter and showed all the dresses she'd already bought her. Monsieur being that Clarice, this week's a big deal. You should dream up some looks with dramatic reveal. For when you're in Paris and it's fashion week, you might see a show and you cannot look meek. So Clarice raced back to her atelier and made all new outfits with absolute flair. A tweed look for Chanel, a fun frock for Dior, a Givenchy style dress, all with drama galore. As Clarice was stitching her final design, a Valentino style with a crazy neckline, the family was leaving Madame all aglow and all three in couture from their heads to their toes. But oh no! Clarice cried and her heart gave a tug. Madame's invitation was still on the rug. Without it, she would be declined at the door. She'd miss out on Chanel and perhaps even more. But what could she do? So small was our Clarice. The Chanel show was far, in fact, right across Paris. As she puzzled and pondered, someone rang the bell. A man bringing flowers, our mouse knew him well. She looked at Monsieur and then hatched a plan. Let's hide in the bike of the delivery man. With your fashion week know-how and all our street smarts, we'll get to Madame right before the show starts. Monsieur and Clarice climbed among the bouquets, and before they could blink, they were off on their way. The bike zoomed along down the white avenues, past beautiful buildings in elegant hues. The ride stopped outside an incredible store. <gasps> Givenchy, sighed Clarice, and gazed up in awe. In front was a dog in a classic bow tie, and Monsieur cried, Hubert, let's go and say hi. Bonjour, my old friend, Monsieur said. What a day! We must get to Chanel. Do you know the way? Hubert smiled back. Je dois this time of year. That scooter's just there. We'll get you quite near. Merci, Clarice waved, and off they careened. She was the chicest mouse that the bulldog had seen. 
They twisted and turned through Tuileries Park, past the Arc de Triomphe, an iconic landmark. But as they swung round the corner, Monsieur lost his grip. Would this be the end of their last minute trip? Claire threw him her belt and said, hold on tight. Then she pulled him to safety with all of her might. Monsieur said, you saved me. I'd almost let go. Clarice, you're the bravest little mouse that I know. That's what friends are for. And she straightened her gown. Now surely we're close. We've been all over town. As they jumped off the scooter in front of Dior, both cat and mouse gasped at the person they saw. The maestro of fashion in a long velvet bow, a Chanel invite in hand on her way to the show. Monsieur looked at Claire and said, Are you ready? Let's hide in her handbag, the great Hermes Kelly. And with that plan in mind, like Bonnie and Clyde, they leapt into her bag, their next place to hide. The maestro walked in to the famed Chanel show, never known that she had two small friends in tow. There was glitz, there was glam, people dressed with such passion. It was weird, it was wild, but darling, that's fashion. Claire's long to explore, but she still had her quest. How will we find them among all these guests? Monsieur raised a brow. If I know that brat, we'll soon hear her screaming. I am sure of that. And then right on cue, like an actor on stage, the daughter yelled out in a terrible rage. There they are, Clarice cried, so let's stay focused, and delivered the invite without being noticed. They leapt onto a lamp post with absolute scale. Monsieur dangled her down with nothing but will. As Clarice got closer, her heart skipped a beat, but she slept in the invite, so very discreet. They made it in time! The show was beginning. As the family gained entry, Madame, she was grinning. Claire's was thrilled. They had just saved the day! But aren't you sad? Monsieur said. Things did not go your way. It would have been lovely to see Chanel's show. My chic feline friend, she replied, oh no, no. We raced through the city with flowers and yore, hitched a ride with Hermes, met a bulldog and more. And all with my friend, whom I truly adore. Have a new, monsieur dear, and I'll need nothing more. He beamed and then said, well, my kind-hearted mouse, I have a surprise, the best seats in the house. Clarice had dreamed of a real fashion show, but never believed she'd one day get to go. And yet there was Clarice, overcome with delight, the best dressed of Paris, seated all to her right. They were high on the beam, watching closely below. They were the fashion stars of the chic Chanel show.